Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan, and today's ball what we're looking at is a Glowworm Micron 30FF. And what it is, um, customers call me up today, so I've looked at this boiler, seeing they're not getting no central heating. I'm, go I'm going to show you quickly how we're going to do a quick test to check um, on the type of system what we got. It's a fully pumped system, which is um, a wire plan. And I'm going to show you how to test the motorized valve and the heating and the hot water. Right, so what you do, you can see them in the airing cupboard, you can see the cylinder, you can see motorized valve, sorry, the um, cylinder thermostat and the mid position valve here. So it's a wire plan, as I said. Right, we're on heating and hot water, you see it on the timer. Now, to do the test to check if the heating's working, independently from the hot water we go to the cylinder thermostat here I've got it turned down so what would happen I'll turn it back up now what would happen if for instance I turn this down you can hear the pump listen careful that's a pump we're on hot water and heating so I'm going to turn this down now like this. You hear that click? The pump stopped for a split second and started again. Now if that pump had stopped after turned down like this, what that would mean is that the motorized valve has not switched over to heating only. And it would mean that this is the fault. So it's a simple test. I'll just do it again. The valve moved back to mid position for hot water and heating because I turned it up. When I turn it down, you'll hear the pump stop for a split second as it switches over to heating only. Listen. Like I say, that pump stopping that short period if that would be more prolonged it means the mid position valve is at fault so that's a simple test now because it's carrying running like it's doing with this switch down it's now in heating only it's come round the heating down this pipe and this pipe going to the cylinder is now turned off until I turn this up like this. It's now sharing mid position doing both heating and hot water. So it's your simple test how you do it. Now this test is only valid providing the room thermostat is okay and calm for heat and the timer is turned on for heating so providing they're okay that this test stands so that's going to be the end of this video if you've got any comments i'd like to hear from you so that's it from me and i'll see you on the next video